Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is King Cran. I'm back here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your KV on your RGH or your JTAG in 2019. And also this list I have up on the screen right now is a list of people that still sell KVs today. And some of them you might have to hit up on Instagram, but most of them have websites. I'm using number four today, which is directkvs.com. And I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check them out. That's the KV I'm using in this video. So let's get right into it. Once you log on to your account, or once you click your account, you'll get this ban notice that says your console's been banned, blah, blah, blah. So all you gotta do is go to XCX menu after you've bought a KV, and put it either on a USB stick, or if you have Xbox Neighborhood, that works too. So you just go to the hard drive directory, and once you're there, you just gotta copy and paste the KV file, which would be kv.bin and CPU key.txt. All you got to do is replace the old ones, which is the band one probably, if you're watching this video. And after that, you're just going to want to go to your system cache, which is in your system settings. And you're going to want to delete those because apparently Xbox kind of tracks you and what you're doing on it so they can detect hacking faster and you might get banned again. And then after that, you can reset your Xbox and make sure you let it do its thing because it's going to reset like twice and make some weird sound, but that is completely normal. So after that happens your Xbox will turn on and when you sign in it's gonna make you redo your password because it thinks it's a new Xbox now that's kinda how it works so anyways if you guys like the video just make sure you leave a like and also at 1000 subscribers I'm doing free mod menus for every Call of Duty and GTA so make sure you stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys later